Hey, my powerful Aquarius, welcome to Swift Intuitions. If this is your first time on my channel, please like and subscribe and hit the notification if it resides. <laughs> if it's not your first time on my channel, hey family, welcome back. How y'all doing today? I miss you. I did, I ain't seen you in forever, like what, yesterday? And then you ain't even watched the video then, so I ain't seen you since last time. But it don't matter you here today, eh? You could have been anywhere in the world, baby, but you're here with me. Okay, okay. So, Aquarius, before we get started, you already know what time is it. It's time to get live. It's time to get protected. Heavenly Father, I thank you right now for my beautiful Aquarius. I thank you for their purpose. I thank you for their light. I thank you for their intellectual mind. I ask you right now, Lord God, to declutter whatever negative thoughts they have of their self, of, of situations that they're currently going through. And I ask you right now, Lord God, to fill that, that clutter with peace, Heavenly Father. Fill that clutter with understanding, Heavenly Father. Fill that clutter with power and with discipline and with the ability to act. I thank you for their purpose. I thank you for the lives that they're changing. Victory is our portion. All right, uh, Aquarius. So first thing we gonna do is we gonna get to the quiz. Okay, we're going to get into the questions. Because I like them. Because I like them like that. I like them questions. Oh, 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 oh. I like one. I like two. Okay. Oh, Aquarius. What does love mean to you? Mm. Spirit is asking you, what does love truly mean to you? And Spirit wants you to really go into depth with what you feel love is. Not what you probably was raised thinking love is, but what do you think love is now? I feel like, Aquarius, there's been a situation that made you want to reevaluate the meaning of love to you. I feel like from up into the point of where that situation came from, you were confused on what love was or you had this idea of what love was. But maybe that idea came without feelings. Maybe that idea idea came with just responsibilities or an obligation to something that has nothing attached to joy and I feel like right now spirit is bringing up to your awareness to actually reevaluate what love was to you or what you thought it was to what you believe it is now because of something that has happened that has caused you to feel it or see it in a different light Damn, yo, that just felt deep. My, that did y'all see that energy? It just came out like woo, 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 woo. Them downloads don't be playing, yo. That shit. I know somebody. I know you felt that Aquarius. I don't know which one of you, but I know you felt it. Okay, okay, okay. That's why I like them questions. Okay. <laughs> Calm down my energy. Cause sometimes I can just be so hype for y'all. I don't know what's, what's going on. I need to get my ass to the gym while I got all this energy on. Huh? <laughs> why I'm playing with myself. Anyway, back to your reading. Messages, love, and light for my beautiful, <laughs> loving Aquarius. Thank you for my beautiful Aquarius spirit messages. What is it that they need to know at this time? Or um. Okay, so Spirit is saying right now, you're in the energy of the hermit. Hmm. This is you really just pulling back your energy, trying to get some type of wisdom or clarification on the situation or just life in general. I feel like you're not communicating with people that you usually do. Um, you're not communicating with a particular person that you could be have heavily on your mind or circumstance. I feel like right now you are, you are going within to figure out you. I feel that you you feel that you have to take your time to actually restep those things that have made you who you are. You have to restep those things or those ideals that you were implanted with and that you have been living with. And you are trying to go within to see if you can actually change. It's like you're trying to really rationalize if you can change because of all of whatever you've been brought up with or, what, or how you thought about life or happiness or success. It's like, I feel like right now you have to ask yourself, is this really what I want? 
Is the image that I thought happiness was, is that really defined as happiness to me? Oh, Clarence, y'all really got some, some messages coming out. I can't even be, I can't, I don't even feel like being, you know. I, this came out like closely to the end. I feel like, and so you, you're a master manifester, but because it came out slightly in the reverse, I feel that you've been, um, you feel unable to bring forth something. It's something that you feel is beyond, be, beyond your manifesting abilities. And you feel, <clears throat> I don't know. It's like um, an energy of of wanting something so bad that you're that you're even willing to manifest in the dark of life. First of all, I'm gonna ask you to uh, get your shit together, get back in this hermit mode before you're trying to do some uh, manipulation type stuff. Don't don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Aquarius, if that if because it came by my mind, so one of y'all, one of y'all's thinking about it. Don't do it. You need to heal. Take your time and 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 heal. What is what does love mean to you? If you what does first of all, you need to learn how to love yourself before you try to learn how to love somebody else or whatever you trying to manifest. You manifest your healing first, okay? And I'm telling you this because we family. Because if we wasn't, did shoot. I, I mean, I'll be praying for you from a distance. But right now, since you're tuning in, this is for you the one that's for is the one that's listening yes you you in the back and you in the front and the ones over there too yeah so first things first before you want to come through to somebody and want to love them you need to know how to love yourself first because if you're going into a situation unhealed from things from your childhood or things that you or, or be, false beliefs that now you have to question you need to make sure you know what you want before you go to anybody and try to love them because you you won't be able to love them because you don't know what it takes to be loved. Because you don't love yourself fully. Understanding. And I mean, you need to understand yourself. Understand who you are. Not who you portray to be or who the people are around you that you feel like you want to mimic. Because they have some type of false sense of success in front of you. I don't care if you don't like this video. I still love you. I do. I really do. But I just don't want you to have this illusion of you know of, of wanting to manipulate somebody to get what you think you want when the truth is you need to figure out who you are so that you can apply the real you to them so they can see if they really want to deal with you and this is vice versa messages love live for my beautiful powerful getting that shit together aquarius <laughs> What you mean? Fuck you mean? I'm not about to play with y'all grown. Look, look, it's your ego. <laughs> your ego. Okay, the first card. I got to use it first now. Damn it. Look, you the emperor. You, your ego, whatever it was, it was something about your ego in the past that made you feel like you had to pull back to actually get some type of clarity and understanding. Because the only time when somebody goes into hermit mode is when they feel like they need to find some type of... um some understanding to get some type of balance in the situation that they're currently going through. So something is unbalanced and you have to go within because you had to reflect on yourself first because you can't keep blaming other people. Other people can't keep blaming you. And now you feel like with this in the emperor card, you feeling uh, like, like you feeling powerless to manifest some things, but you, but, but it's like, if you're going to try to manifest them in a, and like a darker energy and like a, a energy where you're trying to feed your ego and don't do it because if your person is protected you know it's gonna come back on you and it's gonna hurt you and i'm saying this because we family but this would be something you know i can't bond you out of this much spirit get a hold of that ass that's it you're like hey i'm telling you spirit telling me the warning warning and that's what you're thinking about but spirit also say there's this new thing of communication Spirit saying it's time for you to be honest, honest with yourself. If you're going to go towards this situation where you felt you had to hide from, be honest with that situation. If it's a person, be honest with that person. If it's a job title, you be honest with whoever the hell you need to be honest with about your truth. But you got to know what your truth is. You hear me? All right. And I, I just, I do have to 
just point out everything that's happening is divinely orchestrated. I only pulled out four cards and three of them are major arcana with, uh, see, we have the, the hermit, we have the magician in reverse, kind of a little manipulating, and we have the emperor. Very powerful, very powerful cards, all of them, speaking of wisdom, knowledge, and all that. And then we have the ace of swords, which is truth. So, <clears throat> Aquarius, you're watching this. You're very powerful. Every card depicts wisdom, knowledge, power. The thing that you keep having behind you or that you're not looking at is the truth. You have all of the, you possess all of these things, but what is the truth that you're missing? You need to know what love is. You need to love yourself. You need to let go of those old ideologies of what you thought love was because of however you was raised. And whatever feeling that you're experiencing right now, it's for a reason. You're, you're still learning, brother. You're still learning. You're still alive. You're still That's the reason why you're going with it because you feel like, I know that I'm wise. I know, but you still got learning to do. The idiot is the one that feels that he can't learn no more. I don't care. You're going to be old and gray. Well, look, you, you got magic. You powerful. You all of this. You calling these things together. But you still got more learning to do. And the reason why this situation is affecting you so much is because you must have forgot you still got more learning to do. Face the truth, brother. Face the truth, my sister. <laughs> All right, Aquarius. I love you guys. I hope y'all having a wonderful day. Like and subscribe if any of that resonated. Like and subscribe if you're fucking with your girl. And uh, yeah, that's about it. Remember, we are the truth. We are the light. We are the gods. And it ain't they can do about it. <laughs> have a great day, y'all.